If you want to leave, leave. Hi beautiful people, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If today is your first time here, my name is Stella. On this channel, I talk about my life here in the UK, what is happening around me, and I share information. I currently started a reaction video, which today I'm going to be reacting to one. So if this sounds like what you'll be interested in, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. Click on that notification bell to get notified whenever I post any new video. And for my returning subscribers, you guys are the real G. Thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to um, Bucci Solomon post. And also, I'm going to be reacting to the trending Andrew this guy for those of you that don't know i'm a nigerian living here in the uk so so i am kind of interested in nigerian you know this or anything happening back home to be honest first i'm gonna start with buchi's post so there's this post that buchi posted online you guys can see it on the screen this is what he said he said he said my children will be british citizen by birth and i'm not getting them in nigerian passport slash citizenship until they turn 18 and then they decide if they want to get a nigerian passport he said if you think i am not patriotic use that to your patriotism to buy a bag of rice for 10k so many nigerians were on him some persons were saying no place like home some persons were saying why would you say that kind of a thing you know people are kind of bashing him why would you say your children will never go back to nigeria blah 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 although some persons were like ah yes now why would my children go back to nigeria in fact my own children will not go back to nigeria until 20 years that's what some persons were saying on the comment section but then he tweeted and said why are you guys bragging about your children being british when there is racism in the uk the reason why he said this is because some persons were saying that why are you bragging that your children will be like british citizens somehow somehow they shall know that we have roots isn't it anyway he said there is racism in the uk but the racism in the uk isn't worse than the tribalism in nigeria when the police in abuja dealt with me they said you guys are evils we will deal with you and now this is one thing i would definitely support him this tribalism in my country is is unbelievable i am telling you guys the truth he then went further saying it is better that a stranger discriminates against me than my own people so racism over nigerian tribalism thanks i will agree with him the tribalism in that country is unbelievable and i feel like that is what is also affecting nigeria because for example in terms of election people will say oh i want to vote for my own people you just want to say i want to vote for people from this state i want to vote from people from my village like what exactly is happening at the end of the day is his choice some persons don't even want to travel abroad yeah, some nigerians or some african people that don't want to travel abroad they are so comfortable in their home country they are so comfortable in wherever they are so personally i feel like that is his choice if he says he doesn't want any of his children to even step leg in nigeria that is his choice people like me obviously i want my children to go home know everything about you know their culture their roots i would definitely want that and also speak my language Igbo. i would definitely want that but at the end of the day that is his choice honestly when i went online and i was seeing so many person bashing him i was like nigerians make me chill that is his choice anyways leave me your own opinion on butchie's case so let's talk about andrew andrew is a nigerian man based here in the uk people know andrew to be a businessman although he is wanted here in the uk yes he's wanted here in the uk so it was said that andrew went to nigeria and he invited two girls over to him just this is like summary of what's happening now i'm not in nigeria all i see i read and you know watch videos so i mean i'm not there isn't it and most of us also watch read and you know see what's happening online so it was said that Salim and her friend went to visit him. They, some persons were calling the two girls trans girls. For those of you that don't know, being a trans girl means like you go out, sleep with a man, and they pay you money. Yeah, that's what it means. But some other persons, I remember a celebrity posted online saying some people meet their husband online. Some persons meet their husband on Facebook, Instagram, on the road, you know, stuff like that. That Why will you guys be calling them trans girls? Anyway, that's by the way. So these girls went to meet Andrew and they were updating their friend. Oh, they are in Andrew's place. Because, I mean, the girls know Andrew to be a businessman. According to the gist, they said Andrew is so nice. He sounds nice. Like, he's a cool guy. You know, that kind of a thing. Fast forward to the girls. When they got to Abba, they would check out in a hotel. They keep updating their friend. When they were eating, they updated, they updated their friend. You know, stuff like that. After some time, the friends were not able to reach them. Her cousin could not get to her. And that is when they started making an announcement that 
this girls are missing and before you know it boom the suspected person was andrew i mean and everywhere if you see this man please he's wanted he's wanted he's wanted and fast forward then we saw a post online saying the man is dead anyways some nigerians were saying this is fake news there's no way they would say the man just passed after a few days of him being wanted do you understand some person did not believe that until harrison went online to show them to show them proof that this man is truly dead he had to even make a video and post it show them that this is the evidence that yeah he's gone anyway some person were wondering what happened to him why you know why did they even they did not interview him you know stuff like that i mean so many questions because they were supposed to arrest him interrogate him torture him so that he will explain what exactly he's using these girls for that is just the truth but i mean this is nigeria anything can happen well fast forward to one of the victims one of the victims had an interview with um daddy freeze andrew's friend her and uh, harrison and here is the interview this is the interesting part of this interview that i want you guys to hear that is how corrupt nigeria is so if people are saying they want to leave nigeria honestly i don't judge them look some persons are not leaving nigeria because they want to come and make one money here some persons are leaving nigeria because of their safety some persons are leaving nigeria because they want for victim of being maybe kidnapped crime or just some just something that could be avoided so some person is because of security i'm not saying that uk or western world is heaven i mean all those things happen everywhere but to be honest but even as a citizen of nigeria we cannot even boast in our own country look we don't even have freedom of speech in that country anyway shall I fast forward to what the victim had to say he wanted to buy me let me use it he didn't want to buy me he told me some few things he was like he's going to remove my O L G A N. Mm -hmm. He said he's going to remove my O L G A N. Mm -hmm. Then he will, he, he will remove your head. Eh? Yes, and my so people will think he used me for R I T U A L. So that that he way said, that way he do that people will think he used you for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, you said he's not into that stuff, but he told me with he told me he wanted like he, because he he brought out two sharp two NIV. Mm -hmm. He brought out two and other sharp objects with a wrapped nylon, and he mm -hmm. told me what he said. He said he wanted to remove my NIV and my K I D N E Y. So why? So why are you did not fed him that he's not into that stuff? Why? No, which stuff are you talking about? about? Re harvesting. She's talking about harvesting. I don't want us to talk too much on it. I don't have a clue about that one. Then and you shouldn't you just be about, defending you, him. You, know you shouldn't. Eh? You shouldn't. I don't know. He don't do that. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not gonna come here and start telling you what I don't know. All right. What I don't know. Okay. Okay. Uh, and okay. and secondly, you, like, you have my like you have my. Can you? Hello. Yes. That is please. Yes. Mr. Yes. Ben. Video you have in your phone. Mm -hmm. This is the girl. You have that video in your phone. You Which have video? my video, and that's the you have, video I you have this sent to my video. boyfriend. How come I just sent that video to you? Tell me. I can send that oh, video to you. You have that video. Video, video. Hold on. Is it what? What's What's your name? My name is Rachel. You are the Rachel. You, do you know a girl called Amaka? It was when I posted Andrew. Amaka saw Amaka the post. Reached out to you. Yes, she reached out to me. Was like this. She reached out to me. Was like this this same person invited me i was the one that saved amaka it was when i posted in his friends were sharing the pictures when my new work i looked i i chatted to a few bloggers i chatted very dark man i chatted on this blog with some other but they did not respond to me i was not looking out for myself i was just trying to save others but everyone ignored me i was just fighting this thing this battle you know, just me and my god go to, did you go to the police to report this thing after the incident please Yes, I went to I I went straight to come uh, and commissioner of police. My friend followed me there. She's even here with me. I limped because I could not walk. I it was my friend that was holding me. I limped to Potakot uh, 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 commissioner of police. He directed me to anti kidnapping. When I went there, so I should bring money. But Andrew emptied my account. Like Andrew emptied my account. They said I should bring money. I, was, I, I brought money for state. They were like, how much do I have for food to down to her? I was like. This guy emptied my account. I don't have money with me. I don't like. I, I don't have one error with me. They, they, uh, my friend told me they told her I should bring two hundred k. 
for food to go down to our bar. That is it. And can you hear that, please? At the point, I got tired of the place. I start like I just got tired. I was just posting. I was trying to use blog. I was sending messages to some bloggers. I posted friends. Some few, only few friends. We posted. That is which Can you hear? Can you hear the message now? When she went to the police, they were asking her to bring two hundred grand. So for those of you that have listened to what this lady had to say, my own question is that how can you report an issue in a police station and they would demand for 200,000? I had the same experience in Nigeria. I schooled in Unizik and uh, this guy stole my phone. There's this boy that stole my phone in the building where I live. So I live in a safe container and I went to fetch water downstairs because the water was not coming up. So as soon as I went downstairs, I don't know, my bad, I did not close my door. So I just banged the net. I went downstairs, coming upstairs, I, I just feel like, you know, the way you feel like somebody's coming out from your room, but I was not sure. I just went direct to my phone. I did not see my phone, and my phone was under the pillow. I went to the police station. Police station, they asked 10,000 naira for fuel. Ah, Nigerian police, God. Honestly, that system is totally rubbish. I'm not saying all police are corrupt, but honestly speaking, I don't know if it's Juju. Most of the Nigerian policemen hey these people are corrupt they can never i didn't say all i say most of them they will not do nothing for you for free i paid ten thousand the first time they went around they arrested the guy according to the g's they said another senior person where the guy used to sell the phone bribed them the next day these people say i should pay five thousand naira again for fuel to go and make another arrest i keep saying how many times will i pay money to arrest now this phone was an iphone that was my first iPhone and honestly speaking, I was so heartbroken. I think it was iPhone 7. So you will understand what I was feeling that time. iPhone. Oh God, you guys will not understand how I felt that day. I paid another 5,000 until one man told me. I think the man saw me in the police station because every day I'm going to police station. Statement, statement, you go there 200 for this one. This one would ask you money for this one. This man now told me, Nne, you're better off leaving these people. They will keep demanding for money from you, demanding for money. That guy has sorted them out. That's the guy. The young boy sold the phone to that's how i ended up not going there at the time they even called me that how about the boy they arrested that the small boy they arrested i might not bring in money for feed or else they were releasing i told them to release him that was how i lost my phone even with extra money on top nigerian police are so corrupt god honestly speaking if you have any issue and they report the case to the police station i just feel like whoever have the higher connection or whoever have money that is the person that will win the case that's how i feel about nigerian police and don't judge me because my past experience with the people around me i've seen what they've been through with police police is not like you cannot rely on those people trust me you cannot just rely on them now with this lady she reported a case and they charged her two hundred thousand naira for somebody that have gone through a lot only for them to ask for two hundred thousand and still she ended up giving up on the case because i mean if i'm the one i'll definitely end up giving up on the case honestly at this point i feel like nigeria have failed so many persons and to make the matter worse there's current um search going on in andrew's house and they got two phones at the top of the ac and these two phones they showed to Selim's sister because she said no that's not her phone but one of the victims of that andrew said oh one of the phones is her phone but to make the matter worse it was said that one of the policemen stole the phone now nobody know why the policeman stole the phone although he's been interrogated at this point this policeman did you steal the phone because you're hungry you want to sell the phone and make money or you stole the phone because you want to you know die some evidence do you understand stuff like that so there's so many things going on that that's how corrupt that country is and also everybody is just finding a way to make little money with this andrew case i'll say this victim that was speaking like this lady is so brave you know come out saying ben you know that's andrew's friend or brother i don't know what she was saying that why is it that every single thing andrew will keep sending it to him for her i think she is suspecting something and i feel like he also needs to be interrogated to be honest he knows a lot about andrew so many persons were saying that the chat where he was posting online where they say oh the lady charged one million naira for the night blah 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 that all of that chat were fake from this interview or like say live video where she was you know asking that guy why is it that everything andrew had to send it to him personally i feel like he might know a little bit about what's going on with andrew although he told her that even if he report the case to the police station the same thing that happened to her might happen to him just like she said she reported the case to police and they charged two hundred thousand. at the end of the day they died the case so 
he was saying that the same thing might happen to him so he's also trying to divert everything to the system that nigeria has failed you know their people obviously nigeria is failing us every single day but what can we do nothing so here is the thing my people if you want to leave leave if you want to stay stay people are there enjoying people are there living their life but at the same time it's your choice so if you want to leave nigeria let them go but just know that it's never easy anyways i just feel the need to react to this video leave me your own honest opinion if you have been following this case leave me your opinion on the description below and let me know what you guys think about all of that i'll see you guys in my next post bye guys